And I might as well inquire why, with so evident a design at insulting me, you choose to tell me you like me against your better judgment. If I was uncivil, then that is some excuse, but I have other reasons you know I have. Do you think anything might tempt me to accept the man who has ruined, perhaps forever, the happiness of a most beloved sister? Do you deny it, Mr. Darcy? That you separated a young couple who loved each other, exposing your friend to the censure of the world for caprice and my sister to his derision for disappointed hopes and involving them both in a misery of the acutest kind. I suppose you suspect his fortune had some bearing on the matter. And what about Mr Wickham? What excuse can you give for your behaviour towards him? He told me of his misfortunes. You ruin his chances and yet you treat him with sarcasm. And those are the words of a gentleman. From the first moment I met you, your arrogance and conceit, your selfish disdain for the feelings of others made me realise you are the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry.